Hello, just another quick video here to show you um, a potential problem that can arise with these things. We have done uh, previous little videos on these but this is just another one to show it connected to the radiator and one of the problems you can have. Um, obviously this is a, a TRV or a thermostatic radiator valve head. Now sometimes these obviously control the, the flow uh, of the water into the radiator which um, this head here will sense the heat of the room and then basically when it gets hot it will push the pin down inside which I'll show you in a minute and stop the flow of the water to the radiator. Now sometimes these can break obviously or become missing, you lose them, you haven't got them, whatever. So the radiator will be actually on all the time now. Sometimes in a room that you're not using obviously you want to turn the radiator off. And you can go to the other end and screw down the, um, the uh, lock shield valve with a pair of pliers or um, a spanner or whatever, that's a bit of messing about. You don't want to really be touching that. So, in this case, where if you if you've got a radiator in a room, you can't turn it off, and this is broken. What you do, all most of these or all of these, attach the head to the body with this ring here, this captive ring or locking ring. So all you do, you unscrew it. This is assuming that it's broke now and it's not lost, of course. Unscrew it and it's got and it comes off. Don't worry. There's no water going to come out, this is all sealed up within the valve itself. Now you see here there's a pin, so when the pin's fully pressed down it stops the flow. When the pin comes up it allows the flow, simple, so you'll find that the pin is in the up position if you haven't got the head and the radiator is on full. So at ABD Tools we do this uh, tool called the TRV clamp, thermostatic radiator valve clamp, and it, we've made this just, just for this particular problem here. Um, so you've got a fork here which will go underneath the nuts like that. This fits perfectly on a 15mm but if it's 10mm uh, piping going in it will fit that as well. So that goes underneath the nut and the bolt there if you can see goes on top of the pin. And all you do is you screw it down like that and it pushes the pin down. Not too tight, it doesn't go, need to go fully down just about two thirds of the way down and you'll feel it lock. I guarantee now that is off so that will stop stop the flow of water and turn the radiator off. Bit of an emergency thing but it's it's just something we provide that with, we find people do need. Um, just to let you know there's another use for these that when you take the radiator off do not rely on these to keep the water from coming out the end here. When you take the radiator off and this is turned off it very well may be there's no water coming out here and you'll go away and leave it. However if the temperature drops in the room and it goes cold these are designed to open the valve. Designed to open it so when you're not there they could open and then the water will come flooding out and you don't want that. So to ensure that use one of these as well screw it on top there. No matter what happens when you take the radiator off nothing would come out. So there's two purposes for this, two needs for it. One is if the radiator won't turn off and your head's broken or missing. The other one is if you take the radiator off, screw this on and you can guarantee that no water will come out. So it's just one of them simple things but it happens to quite a lot of people. These do fail and uh, there's our solution. It's the TRV clamp or thermostatic radiator valve clamp from ABD Tools. And uh, if you have a look on there on our site we do other tools as well. Tools for taking radiators off and tools for holding the valve and all kinds of different things which you might find useful. So. Just have a look on our site abdtools.co.uk and uh, thanks for watching, hope that helps.